it's Earphone Tuesday again, here on the Tech Travel Geeks YouTube channel. And today we're going to be unboxing and providing you with some first impressions of the UMI earphones, specifically the UMI W5S earphones, which are a set of true wireless earbuds from UMI. In case you didn't know, UMI is actually an Amazon brand. Uh, and upon a bit of deeper investigation, it looks as if they specialize in blackhead removers, face steamers, storage boxes, and pet supplies, and also happen to cover wireless earphones. So whilst it's not Amazon basics, it does come from Amazon, it's an Amazon brand. So you have some certain expectations of what the product is actually like. If you don't already, please do subscribe to the Tech Travel Geeks here on YouTube. Right then, I'll take my Jerry Rig Everything knife and let's open up the packaging on this set of Umi, Umi earbuds and see what's inside. Now, there is some plastic packaging around the cardboard box they're contained in. As you can see, they have nice picture depicting what's in the box and the box just slides open. So inside the box we actually start off with some clear instructions facing us first. I think this is actually quite good for the user experience. If you've never used wireless earbuds before or even if you want to make sure you know how to use them it's good to have this information there. And it also indicates which side up you should be wearing them. So the, they should be sort of pointing upwards from your ear canal. And you have 12 years extended warranty. There's a quick crib sheet on how to turn them on and use perform actions on your earbuds, as well as some clear schematics of how you set them up and pair, pair them with your phone. I'm sure we'll read through this later. But in the meantime, let's see what else is in the box. So we have the UMI W5S earbuds themselves. I chose red, but they are available in blue, silver, black or dark gray, red and gold. I went for red because I think it pairs up nicely with my iPhone and we'll be pairing that with it soon. I really like the way they have shipped the replacement ear earplug or earbuds uh, in here. It's a separate packet with the different sizes. I'm assuming the medium is already applied as we take it out of the box. We'll see in a moment. And there is also a cable. Now this cable is USB type A, as you'd expect, but it goes to USB type C. So this is great if you're going to be using these UMI W5S earbuds whilst traveling, uh, especially if you're your smartphone already has USB type C charger. There's no need to carry an extra cable or charger for them. You should be able to do that just from there. And according to the spec sheets uh, on Amazon from UMI, it's fast charging for the earbuds. The, the, the case and the earbuds charge quickly. So that should be a, a plus. Now let's see what else is in the box. So we have a user guide, which is a giant bit of paper which also happens to have a packing list. So just to check, yes, we have everything. The ear tips in three different sizes, the cable, the ear buds themselves, a user guide, and the instructions of how to get them to go. So everything as expected, I'll put these things to the side and let's focus on the ear buds themselves and see what they're like. So I'm going to take this bit of plastic off. And as you can see, it's a nice sort of metal case. It's a metal charging case, uh, which means that the earbuds themselves are earbuds. They have their own individual batteries, but the case uh, is made out of metal. And inside that case, there's a power bank that charges the earbuds when they're kept in there. USB type C, as you can see, but also L three LED lights to indicate the status of the charge and more importantly, the status of pairing with this, these earbuds. So let's have a look at these. So these are actually surprisingly light, lighter than I was expecting. So these are the 
Umi earbuds. They both have microphones in them. And one has L clearly on the earbuds. The other has right, R for right. So it's good that they indicate which one goes in which pod. And they magnetically clip in for charging, which is good to see. Now I'll just double check. Yes, there is no plastic connector limitation here, stopping them from charging. They come ready to go, which is good to see. And I'd say it's, it has that reassuring metal feel. Uh, they have a bit of heft in the case, but when you take them out, they're surprisingly light. So good to see that from Umi in terms of design. Right then, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to take my iPhone. Yes, I have a red iPhone. And I'm going to pull down my notification shade, open Bluetooth, and we're going to have to set up a new device here. So this is Bluetooth settings. As you can see, quite a few of the Earphone Tuesday uh, Bluetooth devices are already on my list. But in this case, we'll need to set up a new pair. So I'm going to take these out and put the earbuds in my ears. First impressions are that they fit well. And we already see Umi W5S pop up on the Bluetooth section of my iPhone. I'm going to tap on that. And I'm connected. That's great. So that was really, really simple. What I'm going to do is walk through uh, the experience of using these Umi earbuds over the next uh, couple of hours. I will use Pocket Casts, Audible, Amazon Music, YouTube Music, as well as watch some YouTube content. I have a couple of Michael Fisher videos to catch up on. And uh, once I've been through that, I'll be back to give you some first impressions of what I think of these Umi Digi Umi. Uh, W5S earbuds. I almost said Umi Digi there, which is another brand known to us here at Tech Travel Geeks. But these are not Umi Digi, these are Umi full stop. Uh, that is the brand, Umi full stop. So as I was saying, uh, I will go through the paces and come back with the first impressions. For you, it will be a few seconds. There may be an ad break, uh, but we'll be back soon. See you soon. And I'm back. So after around about two and a half, almost three hours of using the Umi W5S uh, earbuds, I have thoughts. Yes, I have opinions. That's probably why I'm the chief mobile opinionist here at Tech Travel Geeks. Anyway, the Umi earbuds are very, very comfortable. Um, I have to say, they, with the medium tips that were included, they fit very well in my ear. Uh, I had no issues using them. The buttons on the Umi W5S are clicky. It's not capacitive. You don't need to have, pro uh, you, you won't have any issues actually clicking these. They have a satisfactory and recognizable click to them when you press them. And that's on both sides. So for things like answering calls, for pausing your music or skipping to the next track, it's very, very good to have that tactile feedback for, the, for that. The case itself is very nice. It charges well, uh, as far as I can see. It has a nice feel to it in metal. Sadly, the overall feel and construction is the best part of these earphones. The sound quality is a bit lacking. It's not uh, what I would expect of a pair of earbuds in this price range. And we're talking between 20 and 30 pounds sterling here. So it's not a very high amount, but it's still, uh, it's still somewhere you'd expect some decent sound quality. If you look at the Tech Travel Geeks YouTube channel, we have recently uh, unboxed and provided some first impressions of Oki earbuds. We've provided the same about Odec earbuds, where the sound quality is slightly better in that there's a little bit more bass to it, the treble is a little bit higher, and the overall sound quality is better. Having said that, it's not particularly bad, it's just there's no wow to it on these earbuds. That no wow factor for the Umi W5S 
is mainly down to the lack of bass. If you're listening to podcasts, audiobooks, on and spoken word, the that's not as noticeable. It's when you go into music, uh, maybe playing some light mobile gaming, that's where things come apart. Now these are Bluetooth 5 earbuds. Uh, they have obviously got a pretty decent chipset because there's little or no lag when watching YouTube videos. But if you're watching something with a bit of bass in the background, it gets a bit, it gets lost there. And pretty much the same if you watch one of our recent videos here on the Tech Travel Geeks YouTube channel, the background music gets lost because it's the capability of the of the speakers on the UMI is not as wide as you'd expect. But again, for the price of what is essentially a charger for a pair of earbuds from the Fruity Company, you're getting good value for money. And if you're not too bothered by music or uh, watching programs or playing games with lots of bass, I would say these are probably the best value uh, earbuds for things like podcasts and listening to the to BBC from our own correspondent. KTD's voice lacks a bit of that tone uh, that she has uh, with these because it's it's slightly tinnier, but apart from that, it's it's decent usable earbuds for the price, and that USB. Type C charging and the nice case may be the decision why you want these over, say, a good quality pair of Oki earbuds in the same price range. Anyway, that's my initial thoughts of the UMI W5S earbuds. If you have any further questions, if you'd like to know more, feel free to leave us a comment in the section below. If you like this video, why not leave us a like? And obviously, if you're not already subscribed to the Tech Travel Geeks, please do subscribe to us here on YouTube. What I'll do is I'll put these Umi earbuds down and let you listen to some nice, relaxing elevator music. <laughs> 